And now, every year, countless lives are impacted by road accidents, highlighting the urgent need for comprehensive strategies to enhance road safety. The statistics are sobering. A startling number of injuries, casualties and fatalities occur due to accidents that could often be prevented. This pressing issue calls for a collective effort to implement effective solutions that mitigate risk and create safer road environments for everyone. Afola Shayo Hamzad has more. Road accidents are leading cause of injury and death worldwide. Understanding the causes of road accidents is crucial to developing effective prevention strategies. This report identifies the primary causes of road accidents, categorized into three main groups, human factors, vehicle factors, and environmental factors. The major causes of road accidents caused by the roads. With, uh, in this country, as road is concerned, there is no good roads. You cannot move 30 minutes without seeing a portals. And these portals are also referred to as a death trap. That is one. Apart from bad road, we can easily talk of a lack of financial to the owners of our vehicles. Because most of them cannot afford to buy good tires. And that's another cause of a road accident. Then, thirdly, air pollution which is mostly caused by the lorries or big, big lorries. At times, the ejector may not be okay. So the flames they produce does not allow vehicle coming behind to see what is happening in the front. Road accident in Nigeria is very, very tense because the Nigerian roads are bad. They are not good, especially the highways. Nigerian highways are not motorable. They are dead traps. So that is why the wave of accident in Nigeria is so high. If you talk about wave of Nigeria in, in this moment now, the cause of road accidents because the roads are not motorable. They are bad. We have portals on the road. At times you get to a place where you see a pit, which if the driver does not ply that road in the daytime, he may get accident when he gets there. What used to be causes of road accidents, it comes in the various ways. Number one, I can describe it as lack of concentration is one of the major uh, causes of accidents along the road. Because in situation where the driver driving on the road, they lose their concentration. So that one can result to accident. Then secondly, if the vehicle putting on the road is not in a good condition, Concerning about the function, the part of the motor, the tire, the, the other parts, if the tire is not good, if the brake system is not function, the clutch and other things, if they are not working proper, that can cause road accidents. And again, if someone who is driving the vehicle is not competent to drive, because for someone to drive a vehicle, it has to do with competency because you have to know the functioning of the road, the road uh, uh, signs, the road signs, then the concentration, as I've said earlier. So those are the things that it contains to drive to avoid a road crash on the road. Road accidents are often the result of a combination of these factors. Understanding the causes of road accidents is crucial to developing effective prevention strategies and reducing the risk of accidents. Driving is a crucial aspect of modern life, but it comes with inherent risks. To minimize these risks, it's essential to adopt safety measures when driving. By adopting these safety measures, drivers can significantly reduce the risk of accidents and ensure a safe journey. Remember, safety is a shared responsibility among all road users. Stay vigilant, follow the rules, and drive safely. The safety measures taken when driving is that we will advise our people to limit their speed. Because most of the time, high speed may cause road accident. But if they go on a normal speed, let's say between 70, 80 kilometers per hour, I think if there is anything that will come across them, 
they can easily maintain their they can easily stop the vehicle with their brake. But with high speed it will not it won't be easy. Well, when our driving all, all driver we are dog, our driving is no more than eighty. When driving, drivers should take precautions because when you are driving, you have to be conscious of what you are doing so that you may not fall victim of road accident. Because when you are driving, you have to minimize your speed. Because there are drivers that they don't ply the road. They don't know even know the road. They may be, I mean, they're strangers on that road. But the wave of speed they travel, when they get to a spot where the road is bad, when they cannot control that vehicle, they may get accident. Safety mayor, one, as a driver, you have to first of all consider your life. Because when you are driving, your life is very, very precious. And the people that are inside the vehicle, you have to consider the safety of their life. And then you have to make sure that you concentrate, focus on what you are doing, pay your attention on what you are doing. Consider the people driving at the back and the people coming ahead of you. Then you ensure that you maintain your road so that you will not be a source of uh, accident to victim to others. Because there are some, no matter how you drive, you say you are expert, you cannot be expert without consider the others. You consider the vehicle coming ahead, you consider the vehicle coming at the back, then you maintain, you ensure that you go at the normal speed limit. Because of overspeeding is part of causes of accident. When driver is driving, you overspeed. The speed that you cannot control, it can easily lead to Accident. Road accidents are a major concern worldwide, resulting in loss of life, injury, and economic damage. To mitigate this issue, various solutions have been implemented to prevent road accidents. The solutions require a collaborative effort from governments, road authorities, vehicle manufacturers, and individuals by working together we can reduce the incidence of road accidents and create safer roads for all users the best solution is for our federal government to take a lasting measure for example going to Ore, going to Ore, you cannot move 30 minutes before you see so many portals if our federal government can continue maintaining the roads for us i believe there will be much road accidents nigerian federal government need to do a needful attention they're supposed to give the road the federal roads good attention to take good care of the roads because the roads are not they are danger they are they, they danger they endanger the lives of passengers the motorists pedestrians even pedestrians because when you are in the daytime you can cross the road but in the night you may try to cross and you fall in a pit in a portal you will fall down some of our roads is bad. All these airport holes is major source of accident at times. When the road is bad, you know that people, they will just be looking for where to maneuver, to dodge, to go. That can cause accident. But if our road is okay, and the vehicle that you put on the road is in order, you can avoid accident. So we, are, we, 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 are, we are implore our government to put our road, to put it in order. Then we as driver, we need to put our vehicle in order so that if there is any fault in our, in our vehicle, to try to ensure that we repair it, put, fix everything together, I believe there will be no accident. Afolasha Yo Amzat reporting for Kaftan TV News.